So this little humanoid robot just set the new world record, clocking in at a max speed of 3.3 meters per second. So 3.3 meters, that's about 10.8 feet. I mean, that's a, that's a human running speed. That's above a jog, I would say. If that thing ran past you, you'd probably do a double take. It also knows some killer TikTok dances, demonstrating dynamic whole body coordination, very strong power, landing ability. I mean, that's a good vertical. Very impressive. That little dog is another robot that they that this company has. So the humanoid robot, the thing standing up, carrying that basket, that's the H1. And that is the thing that set the world record and it's doing really, really well across a lot of different dimensions. It's going up and down stairs. You saw it jumping. Looks like it's a promising career as a uh, boxer. And now it's off to UCSD. I'm a little bit concerned because this is not too far from where I live. A hug signifying the peace between humans and robots. I gotta say, I'm pretty blown away by everything that this thing is doing. But here's the thing. In some ways, it's even more closer and more advanced than we probably realize for a couple of different reasons. One, it has a price tag. Like it's, I think they're getting ready to ship this thing out. It has a price tag and that price tag is not obscene. It's not cheap, but this unit looks like they're labeling it at $90,000, which here in the US, for example, if you, you know, say you're doing construction, you might need a few pickup trucks. $90,000 pickup truck is probably like on the higher end of things. You can get something much cheaper, half that price or less. I mean, brand new I'm talking about. But this isn't dissimilar to the cost of a high-end pickup truck, for example. So for tasks that require journeying through wilderness, hauling various construction materials around, $90,000, I mean, obviously it would depend on what its abilities are, but that's not an insane price tag especially if it's making you money or saving you money. So if you're trying to finance something like this, it's going to be under 2000 a month, let's say if you got like a five-year loan. This, again, depending on how, how useful it is for specific tasks, really rapidly puts it into the affordable range for a lot of businesses. Most people can finance something for 2000 a month for their business. If the cost savings is more than 2000 it's a no-brainer. So the Unitree H1 full-size universal humanoid robot. So the height is about 180 centimeters. So, so just under six feet, this is going to be terrifying for some people. If this thing is towering over you, I can see how that would be unsettling. 47 kilos, I'm talking about just over 100 pounds. So it's equipped with a depth camera as well as a 3D LiDAR. So for the mobility, they're claiming that the travel speed would be right around 1.5 meters per second. That's probably right around a fast walk. They're saying potential mobility up to five meters per second. So much faster than the current records. So that's probably under, under ideal conditions and hollow electrical routing. So there's no external cables. looks like they also have two different robotic dogs. The B2, the one with the tower on its head, that's the more expensive, more robust version looks like. So that's the B2, but the one that is jumping across all those obstacles and the one with the flat top, that's the go to and the price for that starts at sixteen hundred dollars we're talking about one thousand six hundred dollars for that robot some of the applications that they're describing for the robots is for example assisting fire and rescue so for firefighters helping them get on the scene doing some sort of a reconnaissance carrying equipment carrying fire extinguishers or in situations where you need to for example run the hose through through a tight space or somehow impacted space, high temperature space, dangerous smoke-filled space, et cetera, like that, this, this thing could very rapidly carry various pieces of equipment. They also mention rescue here. On the website, they say that the quadruped robots can help the intelligent fire rescue industry with quick response, deploying quickly, acting quickly, and gain the initiative for mission operations. It's possessing long-distance reconnaissance, and it's fearless of dangerous environments and it can go deep on the front line to perform various key tasks. Very military-like language there, but all right. And so they don't specifically say that this thing would be able to rescue somebody as in, you know, grab somebody in a fireman carry and haul them out of there, but it's able to transport rescue supplies and it's able to establish communication between people. 
So for example, if you're trapped inside, trapped under rubble, it's able to get to you and establish communication through the intercom function. So things like this would be priceless for fires, earthquakes, various other disasters, not just for abilities, but just for being able to find people, communicate with them potentially. So it looks like the B2, so that's the more expensive robot model, the tower on top of its head, that's the LiDAR that provides it with a 360 degree view of its surroundings. It also has two HD optical cameras, two depth sensing cameras, both on the front, on its front side, kind of facing forward as far as you can tell. That's the location for all of them. It, ha it also has an inertial measurement unit, an IMU, and a GPS module that helps it orient itself and track its location which I guess its ability to jump obstacles is incredibly impressive, running upstairs and stuff like that. And the B2 robot dog is able to run at a top speed of 19.7 feet per second. So that's, that's up there, that's roughly 13 miles per hour. So like an Olympic sprinter is going to be faster, but it's getting up there, it's getting pretty fast. It can jump a horizontal distance of over 5 feet. It can carry up to 88 pounds when walking and can support almost 300 pounds when standing still, and can walk without a payload for up to five hours. And it's going to be deployed for industrial automation, emergency rescue, and security patrolling. I'll be honest, this was not on my radar, and I am uh, kind of blown away by what they have going here. So here's that website. So this is the Unitree website. So this little robotic little dog thingy is $1,600 the go-to. So a lot of the stats that we were reading, so that's the, it's bigger, more robust cousin, the B2, probably going to be much more expensive. But this thing, they're kind of, it seems like they're branding it kind of like a, like a partner. It'll go on walks with you and it'll go jogging with you and stuff like that. It'll carry your water bottle. So you see they kind of got this guy telling the robot off. You're just transporting a javelin. So this one here, they're seemingly kind of presenting it as more like a toy almost for, for this one. And so the go-to, you can tell because it doesn't have the huge kind of lighter tower on top of its head. So this is more for like consumer applications. And in a second, I'll show you the, the bigger, more robust model that's for more like industrial stuff. So it's able to do like these front flips. It's able to do these little jumps, which is pretty incredible. So you have the tracking modules, intercom, microphones, self-retracting strap, batteries, a speaker for music play. Oh, this will not be used for anything obnoxious, I'm sure. It's got lamps, front-facing cameras, and you're going to be able to interact with it with your phone, similar to how you would use a drone, for example. And you're able to add a bunch of various things. So it is modular. 3D navigation, lighters of, of, of sorts. You have mechanical arms, etc., and so the lighter version is 1600, the pro version is 2800. So that's not the, that's not the industrial one. So here's the various ones that they have. So go to is the industrial version of that. So this is the ones that they have. So the go to, that's what we're looking at. That's the kind of consumer slash education and the robotic industry one is the B2. So you have the B2 and the wheeled version of the B2. From what I'm reading, this is the lighter 360 kind of tower on top of its head that gives a 360 view. It's very cool how it jumps and it seems very agile. Look at how it lands here and it's like, it has this like incredible ability to balance and very high agility. So it's able to trek four hours with 20 kilogram load on its back, replaceable battery, autonomous charging. So if you're in a industrial scenario, you can have that little thing on the floor, like a mat, almost like a charging mat. So it goes in its little corner and charges overnight. So I'm not seeing too much research or anything like that posted. This is a Chinese startup. So it's probably not going to have the same amount of research post posted, obviously, as the big corps, as Microsoft or NVIDIA or Google or anything like that. But I will be trying to get my hands on, well, at the very least, the little robotic dogs, the B2. I've seen videos with them where they kind of jog with their owners or whatnot. I haven't seen that in real life, but it seems like they're out there and being used. Like they, they have them like out there and actually working. The way that he walks down these steps by like stepping, like that seems painful. Like, can you imagine stepping over steps like that? But I'm going to try to find out as much about this as I can and potentially even hopefully get my hands on one of the robotic dogs and, and hopefully be able to do a review of it. 
I want to say I would do an unbiased review of this company, but here's the problem. A lot of the footage that you're seeing here, like a lot of this is not that far from me. And after checking the specs, I can confirm that, that yes, it could walk over to my house. So I will have nothing but the nicest things to say about it. So that's the Unitree H1. We might do a deep dive into it once we have some more information or we see actual like use cases with it. This thing is beginning to blend in really, really well. Is he giving him a dollar for dancing? What is happening there? Anyways, my name is Wes. Have a good night.